welcome along to my very first um, YouTube tutorial. So, um, uh, what we're going to show you? Well, first of all, I suppose about a little bit about myself. Uh, my name's Graham Lee. <laughs> That's about enough, really. And um, I've been balloon modelling a little while, and um, I got hooked in 1988 at a magic convention where there was a one balloon hippo sitting on the table. I had no idea how it was made because up till then I'd made a sausage dog, swan, giraffe and a sword like many others. And this balloon absolutely got me hooked and um, I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I found out the person that made it was uh, Kevin Rowe and that. And um, so that's the first thing I'm gonna show you here. So you take a 260, um, I do, um, uh, pre-stretch this so that's not just doing this it's actually taking your finger and thumb and pulling the balloon up through your finger and thumb like this and um, it will make the balloon about uh, three or four fingers longer for you so you take your 260 you leave a good six fingers uninflated and you've got to do a very deep tulip apple twist uh, you can try and do this all the way through pushing it because you need a good six finger bubble here, a uh, tulip apple twist, or you can actually just go half the way and walk the knot down. So what you do is just go a little way in, grab hold of the knot, and squeeze the air along a little bit, and then you just walk the, uh, the knot along to where you actually want it. So uh, I think we're gonna go to about there, which will be about a uh, five to six finger uh, Go. So you end up with this. Uh, I do two uh, one finger bubbles for the uh, ears and these are going to be pinch twists. So you can do a, a single pinch twist and another one but I prefer to do the two, twist these together and then the balloon goes over the top to split them. It makes two pinch twists the same size and the same pressure. So just your personal preference here. So these two get twisted around and the 260 go over the top. There we go. And then that will uh, look like this. And the actual um, way you push in the nozzle of the balloon is on the top there. So it's not um, like a traditional uh, tulip apple twist. You need a one finger bubble for his neck and a one and a half finger bubble. Uh, this is going to hold his feet and his body in position. So uh, twist these two together, so just like this. And these get twisted, pull this apart. Now for his feet, I do roughly about a three finger bubble. So just measure it, uh, about a three finger bubble. You need the second one. Uh, there you go. And uh, this goes down the pinch twist. Uh, the body is going to need approximately a four finger bubble. So just uh, put your hand there, do about a four finger bubble. And then another pinch twist to hold his back legs. So about a one and a half finger bubble. Twist these two together, so just hold them like this and gently pull that away. Twist it around a few times. All right, it's surprising how many times you can twist that before it pops. Another uh, three finger bubble for his uh, back leg. Uh, two of those. And uh, this goes around the pinch twist. Another four finger bubble to match up here. There we go. And go around the uh, pinch twist at the front now. And then this balloon here, you only want another four finger bubble. So you have to let this down in your favorite method. And I'm terrible because I bite the balloon. But you shouldn't really, you should you know, use some scissors or that. And you, know, you need to measure this so you've got a four finger bubble. Uh, but you do want it, um, when you tie the knot, you want to make another bubble here. So uh, don't tie this tight to the end. Let me just uh, let that down and I'll show you. So when you tie this up, all right, just gently pull that knot a little bit back so this is a soft bubble so that you can put a one finger a one finger bubble there and that goes around the uh, pinch twist at the back all right then uh, with the knot see like this the um the towel is going up so just change that around so that it's looking down like the hippo and i don't have the one um the smaller bubble at the top i turn that over that's going to be the bottom and that's your, um, that's the hippo there. And now we just got to do a little bit of artwork. So, take your pen, and uh, we just have um, some eyes. I was just wondering whether to come a little bit closer there, but anyway. So there's his little eyes, and then you've got to have quite a large um, mouth on him. So all the way round. Mm. Oh, there we 
go. A little bit wobbly. That's his little mouth. And then I normally put some teeth on. Mind you, that's if you've got time. So you can have some teeth there. Oop. And uh, that's just, uh, there he is. Turn him around a bit. And you can also put some white on for his teeth if you like. If you've got time, so just get your white marker pen. And uh, oh, there we go. One on there, and one on there. Oh, I meant to. I think I meant to tell you something about subscribing. And there's a button underneath or something to subscribe. And uh, so if you could tell your friends and all that. And I'm also going to put the uh, instructions for this step by step up on Blue Chat. That's a little forum that I run that you might be interested in looking at. So there you go. That's the first tutorial, the one balloon hippo, and this is what got me hooked in, um, hooked on balloon modelling. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again another time. Bye.